Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 9.5, the volume of pyramids. Um, today's notes, you're going to be writing down five things. Let's go ahead and get started to see what they are. The first thing you're going to write down is the formula to find the area of the base, and you're just going to write down this section right here that I'm going to put a square around. Um, the volume formula that you're going to get on your test with that reference sheet looks like this. Volume is one-third of the area of the base times the height of the pyramid. Another way you can think about this is still finding area of the base times the height and then still dividing by 3 at the end. You won't see this one that I wrote here. The, the one that you originally write will be on your reference sheet, so just make sure that you know how to use um, this formula if you see it on your reference sheet for your test. Um, and just to keep in mind, a, a pyramid is a third of a cube or a rectangular prism, so that's why we're dividing by three. And you saw that in the video we just watched in class. If you weren't in class, I'm going to link the video um, to this video or in the, in the comment section. Let's go ahead and pause it right now so you can write down the formula. Once you're done, click play so we can go on. Alright, this next one, we're actually going to see how to find the volume of this pyramid. This one's a rectangular pyramid, so it has a rectangle as a base. I'm going to just simply write area of the base times height divided by 3 and then plug in what I've got. The area of the base in this one is going to be 5 times 3. The height is 9. And then I'm going to divide all of that by 3. Once I type this into my calculator, 5 times 3 times 9 divided by 3, I'm going to get 45 inches cubed. Okay, very simple, very easy. Just remember to do that divided by 3 at the end. Let's go ahead and get you to try one. Let's pause the video now so you can try number two. Once you're done, click play. All right, so to find area of the base for this one, I'm going to be doing 18 times 18. This one's a square pyramid. And then times the height, which is 25. And last but not least, dividing it all by three. 18 times 18 times 25 divided by three will give me 2,700 feet cubed. How did you do? The next shape we're going to look at is a triangular pyramid. In this one, you're still going to use the same formula, area of the base times height divided by 3, but the area of the base will be found a little bit differently. Since this base is a triangle, you're just going to be finding the area of the triangle. That's going to be 17.5 times 6 divided by 2, so don't forget that one, and then times the height, which is 10 and then divided by 3. 17.5 times 6 divided by 2 times 10 divided by 3 is going to give us 175 meters cubed. This one you're going to go ahead and try, so let's go ahead and pause the video. Remember to be careful because the base is a triangle. Once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, so the area of the base is going to be 18 times 7 divided by 2. The height is 11, so times by 11. And then last but not least, I'm going to divide it by 3. After all of these are calculated into my calculator, 18 times 7 divided by 2 times 11 divided by 3, I'm going to get 231 centimeters cubed. How'd you do on that one? <clears throat> Here's another one that you're going to try. Again, it's still a triangular pyramid. Let's go ahead and pause the video now so you can try it on your own. And once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, so to find the area of the base, we're going to do 4 times 7 divided by 2 since it's a triangle. The height is 6, so I'm going to multiply that by 6. And then I'm going to divide it all by 3. 7 times 4, or 4 times 7, divided by 2, times 6, divided by 3, is going to give me 28 meters cubed. Okay. The last one we're going to try is number 5 in our notes. And again, let's go ahead and pause the video so you can try it first. Once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, so the area of this space is going to be 10 by 8. It's a rectangle, so I don't need to divide by 2 there. The height is 7, and then I'm going to divide all that by 3. So it's going to be basically 560 divided by 3. It does give a, a repeating decimal, so you can simply just write 186.6 repeating 
inches cubed. It didn't say to round. If you did round, 186.7 inches cubed would be fine as well. So either one of these would work. That's going to conclude our notes for today. So just make sure you have those five things written down. And make sure whenever you're finding the volume of pyramids, you're doing base, area of the base, times height, and then dividing it all by three. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.